Do you guys want to hear about the number one upgrade you can do for your Axial SCX-10 III, Gladiator, or Jeep? Right here. Bam! So the actual SEX-103 Gladiator has been the surprise for me of the year. I didn't like the Jeep, but the Gladiator with its long wheelbase really performs pretty darn good. Stock tires, everything, okay? Um, I don't know how it does it, but if you're ready to upgrade, uh, the tires are, are pretty big, 4.7 inch, so you don't have to go changing it right away but there is one really cool upgrade that you could do, and it's the portal covers. You make them, you turn them into gold. More specifically, turn them into brass. So something cool with the, with the actual portals is they're kind of big. You know, they shape, they're shaped really weird, and so what's happened is it gave a lot of real estate for these aftermarket makers to, to make a a uh, brass portal cover that is quite heavy and the heavier it is you know the more options you have you know and one thing really amazing with with uh, portals or portal covers is it's the lowest point of the vehicle ever and i've really thought a lot about about this a lot of sleepless nights and here is the 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 the, the cover so what's happening is the axle is here. It's very hard to get weight below the axle, okay? Uh, that's about, about the lowest point of the vehicle. And what they do is they're able to put all this weight around it. So this is below the axle. This is as low as you can go. The, the what do you call this? The, the actual pumpkin is actually above, way above. So really cool. Um, uh, and because there's a lot of real estate, you know, they're able to put it below the axle, axle line. And, so, and this, get this, you would think tire, the tire or, or the wheel itself, if you, put, if you put a brass ring or some lead shot in there, it's going to be lower than the axle, right, than the portal, but it's really not. You know why? Any guesses? It's because whatever you put on the tire, or wheel, it's gonna be offset on the other side. You know, it has to be a complete circle what you put. So basically anything, anything you put on the wheel or the tire is, is axle level weight. You know, because it, 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 uh, it's the center. It's the center of the circle that you're putting. So this is gonna be the lowest, okay? So, and what's really cool about this, this is by Samix, by the way. So there's three companies. Vitamon was the first. Um, oh, whatever I say here, for the uh, CX-10 III also holds for the Capra because they, they, they share the same portals. Okay, so uh, there's Vitavon, I tried that, pretty cool, kind of primitive, but hey, it works. And then there's Trill Hobbies, Trill's pretty good too. Uh, I was surprised by their quality, but the, 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 the Rolls Royce, the creme de la creme is Samix. Samix is not cheap, but until you get it, you're like, why are they charging so much, you know, that company? But then when you get it, it Construction is always perfect. Okay, so this one, and it has a rotor. Who doesn't like a disc rotor, right? So the weight on this is 91 grams. Um, and what they do that's super innovative is the, uh, these, these sleeves can be removed. So let's say you think 91 grams is too heavy for you. You remove this part, 33 grams. And where that really comes into play is maybe you take it out of the rear. You know, you put that, that 33 grams is in the front, but not on the rear. That way you, you still affect your uh, forward, uh, rear, forward, uh, front weight, front rear balance, okay? So what did I say, 91 grams? So 91 grams for this, 91 grams too. Just checking the quality control. <laughs> uh, 91 grams as well. It has a disc rotor, get this. Where's my wheel? So the disc rotor, um, the only problem with this rotor is you can't see it, right? So you want a wheel with a very open spoke pattern so you can at least kind of take a peek at the, at, at the, uh, at the rotor and, and show how tricky you are. But I have a new 
um, a wheel called a boom racing pro build that where the, the actual wheel is flex and clear. So all you're gonna see is the disc rotor. That's gonna be cool. So here you go. Um, so for, for, for this one, you got 91 grams. And since we're going big, we also, this is the actual portal case. Uh, this is just the portal cover. So, so they go together like this. Super trick if you have both, but then it's gonna be super heavy. So 91 grams, this one is 55 grams for a total of 146. 146 for one wheel. So we're talking some, uh, some good business over here. Also they have a brass hex that's a little wider, bigger offset than, than stock. So it'll widen your stance a little bit. So this is your super cool upgrade. Um, for the SEX 10 3. Uh, this was one of the first things I did on my 10 3 to improve its climbing performance. And, you know, the way you do it is you put the front first. Uh, if you are, and you're gonna climb like a, like, a, like a beast, if you find that your descending is not quite there because the, the rear is kind of dancing around, there's no weight on the rear, then you put some on the rear. Uh, maybe, maybe a little less on the rear. Uh, but front first, and rear if you if you want to descend better but once you put rear it's gonna sacrifice your front rear balance uh, your 60 40 uh, ideal weight whatever it is okay so hope you enjoyed that thanks a ton <laughs>